Uh, Howard's talked a lot about the coconut rhinoceros beetle over the years. It's been a threat to the ag industry here in Hawaii for a decade, and a new breed of coconut tree could actually help minimize this problem. Chad Blair joins us now from Silver Beet. Uh, all right, so before we even get to that, uh, how big of an issue is the coconut rhinoceros? Well, Howard's absolutely right. Yeah. It has decimated crops across the Pacific. That does include here in Hawaii statewide. In January, Thomas Heaton, our reporter, said a new report came out said, you know, they've pretty much given up on eradication efforts here on Oahu, even after years of trying. Yeah. But we have some hopeful news. Thomas has visited UH researchers, and what they're doing is they're actually growing pint-sized or dwarf coconut palm trees. Right. Those trees can grow as high as 100 feet tall, right? If you're in Waikiki, you'll see those. These are about a third that size. The whole idea is, if you will, to make finding those beetles at an eye-to-eye -eye level, and there's some sense that this experiment may pay off. Yeah, okay, so the great thing about the article is you don't have to see video of the coconut rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should say they first found here in 2013, um, but we still need some help, right? Because these trees aren't, aren't uh, full. Uh, so what does a community do if they see a beetle well, or they see it's a very good. It's a great question because if you're, if you're gardening at home or yeah. if you're involved in landscaping, look at the mulch, look at the compost because that's how they're spread. We should tell you also these beetles are nocturnal. Mm. They also fly. But the thing to do is to call and let authorities know, let the Department of Ag know. Thomas reports on a model that has worked at Joint base Pearl Harbor Hickam yeah. and what they're doing is people are out there gardening they find a beetle they call and it turns out that's having a lot of uh, results positive results and finding them tracking them and eradicating them right and they're still working on this right so they're still in need of funds are they gonna get more, more we'll money? see right. you never know what's gonna happen to the legislature right. but there is a bill that would increase the Department of Ag's funding for this program It would actually pay for more positions that's more manpower more mm -hmm. bodies looking for them you don't want to use insecticide is what Thomas found yes. out because what that's gonna do is it's gonna poison that coconut fr fruit for a year that's just not gonna be worthwhile probably gonna dam damage other fruit crops as well. So a hopeful sign that these pint-sized dwarf coconut trees will eradicate not John, Paul, George, and Ringo. I had to get my yeah, beetles okay, plugged in. No <laughs> but to deal with what's known as CRB, the coconut rhinoceros beetle. Okay, so you haven't you haven't tried one of these coconuts no. yet? No, no. But, <laughs> but they are commercially viable. Okay. Apparently they produce as many as 240 nuts a year. So it's a real viable crop. Yeah, we're intrigued. Yes. Intrigued. All right, so check out the, the article. Uh, again, you don't have to see video of the, the rhinoceros beetle, but you can head to the full story at civilbeat.org and text 66866 for their newsletter. Chad? Thank you. Thank you, Steve. We'll be right back.